Welcome back. So we are continuing to draw attention to organ donation. More to give is what we are calling it. And you can see more to give is still uh, trending right up there at the, at the very top. Uh, Walkathon has also been trending for most of the morning. Those walkathons taking place in a number of cities all across uh, the country. And we will, some of them have finished, some of them are still on. And we'll take stock of where people are and how they are doing with that particular walkathon. About an hour or so to go till the Prime Minister starts to speak with Man Ki Baat. So we are going to try and get some perspective, some analysis, what needs to be done, which myths need to be dispelled, and how we can really help this country go a little further in, uh, the, in the process of getting more and more organ donations happening. And also some, some case studies, if I can call them that, some people who have actually made a major difference to other people's lives and some whose lives have been transformed. So, uh, Dr. Shroff is still, still with us, but I have Rakesh Kapoor now joining us who uh, donated his wife's organs and therefore made a, a dramatic transformation in the lives of others. And Vikram Bansal, who is a recipient of a liver and had his own uh, life transformed. So, thank you both so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Uh, Ra Rakesh, if I can just, just uh, ask you first, the decision to donate your wife's organs now okay. was it a, a difficult decision to take and uh, what how do you feel you know now that it is the realization is really perhaps sinking in more and more as to the number of lives you've been able to transform okay sir jab je decision maine liya tha us samay mujhe bhi nahi pata laga ki decision kaise liya gaya ye jaise kya paristhiti thi us samay us samay ye thi ki uski jo पोजीशन थी डॉक्टर ने मुझे बताया कि 99.5 परसेंट मतलब कि शी हैज़ नो लाइफ तो उस समय डॉक्टर विपुल गुप्ता थे वहाँ पर जिनसे मेरी काउंसलिंग हुई जिनसे रोज़ बात होती थी तो मैंने उनसे बोला भी कि क्या हम इसको बाहर ले जा सकते हैं कहीं कहता नो चांस उसके बाद उस दिन दोपहर को ही पता नहीं क्या दिमाग में आया तो मैं ही डॉक्टर साहब के पास गया मैंने बोला क्यों ना इनके ऑर्गन्स या कोई चीज़ डोनेट कर दें तो उसको तो उन्होंने मेरे ऊपर ऐसा सोचा कि पता नहीं क्या डिसीज़न ले लिया तो फिर मोहन वालों से उन्होंने मिलाया मुझे तो इन्होंने काफ़ी सपोर्ट किया मुझे तो उन्होंने बताया कैसे ऐसे आप कर सकते हैं तो उसने फिर सभी ये प्रोसीजर था तो उन्हें क्योंकि उन्होंने बता दिए थे आलमोस्ट शी इज़ डेड क्योंकि उसका ब्रेन जो डेड हो चुका था तो उसने कहा ये पंद्रह दिन बीस दिन एक महीना आप इसको लाइव कर सकते हैं जब तक ये आर्टिफिशियल स्पोर्ट पे है उसके बाद हमने एक दिन हम कह देंगे इसकी किडनी चले गई नेक्स्ट डे हम कहेंगे इसका लिवर ख़त्म हो गया नेक्स्ट डे कहेंगे अब इसका हार्ट बंद हो गया तो इन पोजीशन में आप देख सकते हो कि तीन दिन चार दिन बस ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा तो उस समय ये पोजिशन थी तो फिर हमने ये डिसीज़न मैंने ही लिया था क्यों ना इसका और आपने जब ये डिसीजन लिया तो आपके मन में उस समय क्या था आपने सोचा कि शायद और लोगों की जिंदगी में भी परिवर्तन आपको आ सकता बताता हूँ मेरा एक्सपीरियंस क्या हुआ जब मैंने ये डिसीजन लिया था तो मैंने नहीं लिया मुझे लगता है कि उस लेडी की आत्मा ने ही मुझे आवाज़ दी थी जी जो मुझे लगा क्योंकि ये डिसीजन लेना अपने भी एक नाखून काटना होता है तो हम छत्तीस बार सोचते हैं कि दर्द ना हो और एक ऐसा डिसीज़न लेना किसी के बारे में शायद मुझे लगता आज भी मैं कभी सोचता हूँ कि वो डिसीज़न जो उस लिया है ये उसी की आवाज़ थी कोई तो उसके बाद जब मैं इसकी डेड बॉडी लेके जा रहा था तो मुझे डॉक्टर शाहिद ही वहाँ उन्होंने बताया कि आज उसी के ऑर्गन से ऊपर पांच ऑपरेशन हो रहे हैं पाँच लोगों की जिंदगी में परिवर्तन आया है हाँ पाँच लोग शायद जिंदा हैं आज क्योंकि आपने वो फैसला लिया हाँ हाँ और और एक तरह से वो भी उन्हीं के थ्रू अभी भी जी, जी रही हैं ये कह सकते हैं हम डॉक्टर शाह ये जो उन्होंने फैसला लिया उसके बारे में आपको क्या कहेंगे आई थिंक यू नो इट्स वेरी नोबल इट्स समथिंग विच यू नो इन द टाइम ऑफ एक्सट्रीम ग्रीफ टू बी एबल टू थिंक अबाउट फेलो ह्यूमन बींग इज यू नो ए वेरी नोबल थाट and you know we have people like him who do think of others you know after death we after all do what is called in our philosophy we do pindadan we mm. you know donate our clothes we donate everything 
And if you really think about it, mm. you know, the body gets cremated or buried, and by donating the organs, you're in a way extending, the, extending life of that person. And, you know, so it is something which is the best thing you can do once you die. And I think what he has done, of course, if every Indian thinks that way, then we would have no shortage of organs, obviously. Phenomenal. And, and now to somebody whose, whose life has, has been transformed in that. So, Vikram, what, what's your story? <coughs> uh, I was uh, diagnosed with an end-stage liver disease. And initially, I did not know, uh, I, I could not... Uh, 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 I'm so sorry. Sick. Uh, that, 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 that's okay. So, so, but then somebody stepped forward yeah. and made that decision to contribute to liver. Yeah. And, and because of that, in a sense, you got a new lease on life. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a, uh, some brave person like Mr. Kapoor, and they decided to offer the gift of life to me. And that is how I'm alive today. And you were in that critical a condition. If somebody uh, yes, hadn't stepped forward, you wouldn't have been here today. Yes, that is right. Because uh, the doctors have given me a, a time period of about 8 to 12 months. And out of that, almost 9 to 10 months had already passed. So I was down to the last 2 or 3 months. So if I did not get that liver within 2 or 3 months, I would not have been here. So it is only because of someone like uh, Mr. Kapoor that I am alive today. And how long back was this? Uh, this was in 2014 February. 2014 February? Yes, sir. And now you are healthy, you are going about your... Uh, yeah, I resumed my office work in two and a half months and I have been doing regular office work. I have been doing 11 hour shifts every day and I am completely healthy. Excellent. You know, I have to say that this is, this is perhaps, you know, the most, the, 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 the greatest example you can see. Kapoor Chah, you probably don't know who the organs were. That's right. But when you look at them, you will see so, किसी ने आपके तरह एक फैसला लिया और इनके पास एक महीने दो महीने बचे थे जिंदगी में और अब आप देखिए यहाँ हैं बात कर रहे हैं ऑफिस जा रहे हैं तो I mean there's no better example I think of why this is so important absolutely you know you know many countries are celebrating Thanksgiving you know this week and this is our Indian Thanksgiving there's more to give you know thanks to him people like him who save lives like this you know so it is very emotive when you get these kind of you know case mm. studies on your program yeah. so that more people get inspired that you know the quality of life he says 11 hour shift he's doing mm. yeah quality of life is excellent mm. it's just like you and me he's not sick many times you think that a patient who gets transplant is a sick person no mm. look at him he's fully healthy and that's what he's all about that a person after transplant he, he had one month he had one month or a month and a half to live Mm. And now two years later, Absolutely. three years later, he's working full time. Hanging he's, by he's, thread, he's you fine. know. He's, he's, and he's that's it, you know. If you had to say something to the family, because these, these are anonymous quite often. You don't know who the person yeah. was who donated the liver. If you had to say something right now, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? So, <coughs> I would just, I, uh, I mean, thank you would be a very small thing to say. Because they've given me this gift of life. I would just say that. Perhaps their family, I could take it forward, take their family member forward. And if what I have done is that I've placed my organs and I've, I'm trying to convince other people also, and I've managed to convince two or three of my colleagues, some of my family members, all of them have signed up as donors. So I'm, that is my sort of repayment to this donor family that I'll take their motto for, forward. तो ये भी देखें कि एक यही चमत्कार शायद है कि इनकी जिंदगी बच गई अब ये और लोगों को प्रोत्साहित कर रहे हैं कि आप भी आके अपने ऑर्गन डोनेट करिए और उसकी वजह से और लोगों की जिंदगी बचेगी और अगर हर एक इंसान यही सोचे हर एक इंसान की वजह से चार पांच जिंदगियां बच सकती हैं तो ऐसा है कि इसमें हमें सबसे पहली बात है मोटिवेट करना है अभी हमारे नॉर्दर्न इंडिया में जो मोटिवेशन है वो इतनी ज्यादा नहीं है नंबर 2 इसमें सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम आ रही प्रोसीजर प्रोसीजर भी जो है इसका वो बहुत ज्यादा लेंथी है क्योंकि उस समय तक आदमी एक तरफ तो बीमारी से लड़ रहे होते हैं और दूसरी तरफ इसका प्रोसीजर इतना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है वो बड़ी प्रॉब्लम वो हर हॉस्पिटल्स में नहीं है डोनर्स अगर देना चाहता है तो लेने वाला नहीं है लेने वाला है तो डोनर्स नहीं है 
अगर दोनों मिल जाते हैं तो एक्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं है ये तीनों चीज़ों का जो चक्कर है तो अस्पतालों में और जो लॉजिस्टिक्स हैं वो तो ठीक करने ही हैं पर सबसे पहले जो ज़रूरत है कि आप जैसे इंसान और होने चाहिए जो वो फैसला लेने को तैयार हैं कि हम डोनेट करेंगे और अगर आपके जैसे और लोग अगर आज सामने आ जाएँ तो बहुत ही बहुत ज़्यादा परिवर्तन हो सकता है